Hi, this is Joanne, and now that it's springtime here in Illinois, you might be thinking a bit about your garden. Now, I won't be growing a garden this year, but I've always been a naturalist at heart, and that's how I would spend my time in junior high and high school, is wandering through the boonies of Guam or at the beach and uh, observing various forms of life. And a lot of the life forms you can see are found actually on the ground and in the soil, and not just in the air and even the ones that are uh, above ground have to relate to the, the life that's in the soil. And uh, so, uh, uh, with this being said, I want to recommend to you, to you gardeners and naturalists, this book called Life in the Soil, A Guide for Naturalists and Gardeners by James Nardi. Now, it's so hard for me to call him James Nardi, or even Dr. Nardi, because I call him Jim. He was my supervisor for my master's project uh, here at the University of Illinois in the Department of Entomology. And we studied muscle development in the tomato hornworm, uh, Manduca sexta. And if you've never seen one of those, they're sort of this fluorescent, not fluorescent, like a sea foam green. They can be, well, they vary in size, of course, as they grow. Uh, they do develop into moss, but if you've never seen one, if you go watch the movie Pineapple Express, at one point he's sitting in the woods holding a caterpillar in his hand, and that's what he's holding. So, you know, if you want to see one of those, you know, I suggest you go see that movie. <laughs> anyway, this book is, um, I'm reviewing it not just because uh, Jim is a wonderful human being and one of the nicest fellows on the planet and as you can imagine you get two really nice people working together and sometimes you're going to have like an impasse like oh no whatever you want to do oh whatever works for you no I insist whatever works for you so we did that quite a bit but we did get our work done we enjoyed each other's company quite a bit um, but what I also know about Jim is he's very meticulous very thorough very knowledgeable and quite the artist. So every picture that is drawn in here that's not an actual photograph, including these and including many of the other ones in this book, were drawn by Jim. These are incredible. And I don't know if you can get an appreciation of this just by me showing you. I'm going to ask Jim if I can't put a couple on my website. I don't want to violate any copyright laws. So this book discusses um, how soil develops and the various things that are needed to produce good soil, to produce humus, to, to have the proper nitrogen balance. And then it also discusses our decomposers and um, other, so we're, we're talking bacteria and fungi and lichens and all the way up to um, worms and larvae and beetles. and anything else you can imagine, including then the birds and mammals and other arthropods, spiders and everything else. Anything you could possibly find in and around the soil is covered in this book. It's magnificent and the pictures are amazing. And I also learned there's a chapter in there on how to collect various insects or other forms of life bacteria if you wanted to study what's in the soil. I, I am Every time I turn the page, there's a beautiful drawing that Jim happened to have done with pencil drawings. I, here's the birds that he did by himself. And, um, and I love this picture of the squirrel, look. Oh my gosh, I could just show you pictures all day. I'm going to highly recommend this book as a resource for gardeners or for those of you who are just interested in life. If you just want to go out and study the life forms that are out there in our soil. And this wasn't limited to just uh, the Midwest. Uh, he, he also talks about scorpions and uh, very des various desert life as well. So uh, for, for uh, your springtime gardening, uh, this is the book to get. Life in the Soil by James Nardi, my good friend Jim. And uh, thank you so much for listening.